Hi, this is Don, and welcome to Data-Driven Real Estate Investing, where we help you make informed rental property investment decisions based on big data analytics and inputs from actual experts in the field. Hi, this is Don, and today I want to take you through some of the search functions on Investimate. So if you look at this screen that's on Investimate, you can see that you can search by a bunch of different categories. You can search on new construction. You can search on multifamily properties. There's one to four units. There are properties that are tenanted, so these are ready to go day one. There are properties that are recently added. So if you're looking for recency, stuff that's just been out there. And these are sort of the most watched properties. So you can kind of take a look at what other people are looking at so you know what's hot. And then you get a look at the just sold properties. So it gives you an idea of velocity and you know who's buying what. So this is a quick look initially at various categories. So you can drill down into one of these if you want uh, and then start looking at properties there. Uh, you also have the option here to come in and do a property search. Now, the way we've designed this is with the stock market investing in mind. So most real estate sites out there tend to be listing sites. That's not how you invest in stocks and bonds because in stocks and bonds, you're asked about your investment amount. You're asked about an investment strategy. We'll get into that in a minute and a few other questions. And then your wealth advisor builds you a portfolio of stocks and bonds and that they don't just list, you know, a set of stocks like IBM, Cisco, Apple, and then tell you which one of these do you want to buy and do you want to do a deep dive into it. So we took, you know, a page out of that play playbook really and built built this whole investment uh, investment side so that you could use the same kind of parameters to invest. So here it is. So one is obviously in real estate, you've got locations. So if you have a location preference, you can pick one of these various locations. We are pretty good across the country. Uh, if not, you can keep it in any. Obviously, the next thing is an investment amount. What's your budget? Uh, and then that obviously is determined by whether you want to finance or not. So you can finance, you can pay all cash, or you can even invest out of your IRA. Now, we have some experience on which properties qualify for IRA investments. So there's some of those that are tagged in the system as IRA investments. Then, more to the point, you can actually describe your investment strategy much like your wealth advisor advisor would ask here, right? So it could be an income strategy, which means you're primarily looking for yield. It could be a growth strategy. You don't really need cash that much right now, and you're, you're looking at properties that will appreciate and give you a lot of growth over time, or you're looking for something in between. So all these, all these determine what properties the system serves up. Now, in, in addition to that, we've got a few other things, like in the neighborhood investment rating. Now, this neighborhood investment rating is sort of a risk reward calibration on a neighborhood. And they're not necessarily good or bad. A C neighborhood actually gives you a higher yield, it's a little more volatile, and it doesn't have as much growth. And an A neighborhood is one that has less yield or higher quantum of investment and has a lot more growth. So you can see how these start getting tied together. A lot of investors look at it and say, well, you know, I, I, I really want to invest based on school district. That's a great surrogate of mine. So you can actually pick any school district uh, rating and, and then only look at you know properties that have a very high school district rating or something that is in between, depending on where you are. Uh, you can look at a minimum year built. You can go to a you know any year built, or you can say I only want properties that are newer than you know I don't know 1988. Seems new enough, so you could do that. Uh, and then if you tell the system to search, what the system then does, and well, let's put this property thing a little bit more, so let's, I mean, school rating, let's get it up to eight, so you get only good schools, and let's say my investment strategy is any. There's an intelligent recommendation engine that actually goes through the entire inventory and serves up a bunch of properties that actually meet that criteria. So right here, you can see that since I put my school rating at eight, I'm, I'm tending to get more A neighborhoods. So these are A neighborhoods. This one's in Dallas, this one's in Atlanta, that one's in Charlotte. So you can see, since I haven't put a location preference, I'm kind of seeing what's available around the country based on a set of financial criteria. I'm not going through a list of properties like I would in a Zillow or Realtor.com and then figure out which one of those I want to buy. Now, I'll leave the drill down into these properties for later, but this you can see that as you put these criteria in, you're given a wide range of properties to select from based on this criteria. Now you can 
change this at any point, you can you can go in and say, you know, really, I only want to look at, let's say, um, Southern California, where, you know, we happen to be located. And then if you search on that criteria, now you're going to see Southern California properties in Murrieta and Temecula and, you know, a bunch of other places where, uh, you know, it fits the model. So you can play with these filters, you can play with these additional filters, uh, and you can pretty much go to town and figure out which of these properties make sense for you. Uh, it's very flexible, it's completely investment criteria driven, and it's how you'd want to look at an investment anyway. So that's a quick session today on the search criteria on investment. Uh, and we'll get you through more parts of the software as we move along. So you can check out the uh, investment platform on uh, homeunion.com if you're an investor. And if you want to use the platform uh, and your provider, go to investmentroi.com.